Good morning. Hello. I'm kind of pleased with this, whatever this is on my hair this morning. Uh, good morning. <laughs> Uh, if you were worried yesterday, along with me, about the XSplit thing, turns out that was a, actually a Google Cloud issue that they were just as frustrated with, but it has been resolved! Huzzah! And so, you can see, the overlay is back. But, today is game day! Game day one of two. I, I, I only have to do it with one hand to do two. So... A little bit later today, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, to be specific, <clears throat> I will begin Dungeons & Dragons. We will be live streaming on my Twitch channel, maybe steaming also. We will be live streaming 24 hours of Dungeons & Dragons in two 12-hour chunks because I'm a grown-up and not insane. And... We will be running from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. with a bunch of players, and we're going to be running the Acquisitions Incorporated game, Orrery of the Wanderer, and it's going to be awesome. We have already surpassed last year's total. I've said some of this already in videos, but I'm just excited. It is certainly what is on my mind today. I've done a lot of preparation for this game and, you know, I was reminded just looking at, you know, a Facebook memory this morning where it was from two years ago, which was the first time that I was doing this. And it was me being nervous. Did I plan enough? Did I get enough donations? I know it will be fine, but I want it to be great, is what I said in that post two years ago. And it was great. It was so great that I did it again last year. And now I'm doing it again for the third time. And not only have I done more planning, but I have also done, gotten more donations. And so it's just onward and upward, baby. Yeah. Well, we'll see. You know, obviously, I you know, things happen. But... I'm very excited. I'm very optimistic about how things are going. It is an exhilaration anxiety rather than a have I made a terrible mistake anxiety, right? You know, it's interesting because I feel like anxiety and anxiousness has become more, the words have become more associated with uh, the the negative qualities of you know, feeling stressed out in anticipation of things that may or may not happen. But I also feel like when I was a kid, I thought of being anxious for something as not necessarily stressful, but being like eager, eagerly anticipating something. And I think there's some of that still in the word, but, uh, you know, it's, it makes me recall something that I was once... Uh, an exchange I once participated in years ago when I was doing community theater where I was feeling very stressed out and worried, you know, stage fright, as you will. And uh, I was feeling that, but then I had a uh, one of my, you know, uh, co-actors in the production say, uh, you know, I always feel really stressed before a performance, but then I see how confident you are and it makes me feel better. And I was really surprised at the time because I didn't especially feel confident. Um, it has occurred to me over the years that I think sometimes the way that I show stress is not necessarily as obvious to other people which can be a boon and certainly was in that case, right? But the way I thought of stage fright or that anxiety was, you know, the, the thing that always helped me 
to channel that mental energy into something productive rather than a detriment is to say, I'm nervous about it because I care how it turns out, right? It matters to me. And so what I want is for me to use that, that it matters to me how it turns out and use that to make it turn out great, you know, use that as a positive thing. Now, there's not, a, not everything in life can you do that with, but some things you can, and when you can, you should. So, today's game matters to me, and it's going to be great, because we're going to make it great. And it's not too late to donate either, so if you want to head up to that link, you can find out how. And then, of course, tune in to my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Christiana Ellis. You know, this link has a hyphen in it. Twitch one does not. And you are going to find 24 hours of Dungeons & Dragons this weekend, and it's going to be a blast. And so, in the meantime, I have to go, like, take a shower and stuff, eat breakfast. But I will talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes for a mid-game update. But, of course, check us out for the adventure. <laughs>